Hi, welcome to Deep Thoughts with Dana. This is Dana. This is your monthly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces for April 2019. If you'd like a personal reading with me, I have a $50 YouTube subscriber special that includes a video link. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Enjoy the video. Namaste. So you start this reading with the Five of Cups, right? The Five of Cups, you are moving on. You're moving on, but you have to leave something or somebody out in the cold. The alchemist comes in and says that you are manifesting. You're manifesting a creative new opportunity in your life. Eight of Cups says that you have to walk away. After much contemplation and much evaluation of the situation, where you have applied temperance and balance and patience to the situation because of a need for self-protection, right? Because of a need for control, stability, and security in your life. You are, with the two of wands, you are planning for your future. You're starting to make some progress. You're making decisions. You're, you're planning, right? Planning about where you're going to go and what you're going to do and all that good stuff. The Nine of Wands comes in and says courage. Temperance comes on top of it and says patience, balance, moderation. Because you're going to have to end something in order to achieve success. Judgment comes in and says there is a very big decision that you are making that is going to result in celebration in your home, in your community, in your life. This judgment that you're making is the pursuit of the manifestation. This is the manifestation in pursuit of the manifestation of a brand new opportunity in your life. Could be a financial opportunity. Regardless, it's a brand new opportunity in your life. This creates a tower moment, swift and sudden change in your life, as witnessed by the Eight of Wands. Movement, speed, maybe even some travel. This brings balance and prioritization into your life because with the world card, you're ready to start a new chapter. Six of Swords comes in and says this is a regretful but necessary transition. Regretful because you have to walk away from something with the Eight of Cups. This again, tower to tower, creates a tower moment in your life, sudden change sudden change. I don't think it's upheaval and chaos. It's not even a revelation or an awakening. It is sudden change. This sudden change results in immense happiness for you. Immense happiness. The Six of Wands comes in and says public recognition, victory, progress, and success. Followed by the Four of Swords, which is about contemplation. Okay, so this ends this reading right here. This starts a little pocket side reading, which is kind of a recap of this reading, which I find to be interesting. The tarot um, is amazing. So contemplation, <coughs> right? Indecision, choices that you need to make. Very caught up in your head with the Eight of Swords, overthinking everything, and basically locked down and, and you can't move. You can't make a decision because you're, you're just thinking about things too much. The Hierophant comes in and says what you are wrapped up in your mind about is some kind of very, very big commitment in your life, some kind of very important relationship, something that's going to require um, a committed perspective from you. You have a lot of internal conflict with the Five of Wands. And this is all about a relationship that is very important to you in your life. Queen of Swords comes in and says, you are dropping the sword. You are making a decision because you feel that this is a turning point in your destiny. One cycle of your life is ending and a new cycle is beginning. You are leaving the burden behind. The burden being all that is familiar to you. This is why you're leaving someone out in the cold, five of cups, moving on, eight of cups twice, walking away, indecision, right? Um, because you have to leave something that is very familiar to you in the past. Page of Swords comes in and says that you are formulating thoughts, 
opinions, making decisions. The moon card comes in and says you have fear and anxiety. The page of wands comes in and tells us that despite your fear and anxiety, right? You are enthusiastic about this new chapter, this new cycle, this turning point in your destiny. You are pursuing the Ace of Wands, an inspired, powerful, creative new beginning in your life. The Ace of Pentacles, manifesting perhaps a new financial opportunity, but definitely manifesting prosperity in your life. Manifesting love, manifesting peace and love and emotional um, contentment in your life. The Two of Wands comes in and despite your fear of the unknown, you are going to go forward and plan your future based on this decision, which will result in the Queen of Pentacles. Security, uh, control, power, abundance in your life. There you go. Oh, I almost said the sign. There you go. This is reading number one. If this reading resonates with you, please comment in the box below. Reading number one and your zodiac sign, okay? All right, stay tuned for 11 more. Thanks. Oh, hey, if you want a personal tarot card reading, you can hit me up at deepthoughtswithdana.com. $50 for YouTube subscribers. Thanks. Namaste. If you enjoyed this reading today, feel free to drop a comment in the box below and let me know how it um, resonated with you and what's going on in your life. I read every single comment that you guys leave and I do reply to them as well. And um, share this video with whomever you think it may help, okay? Thank you so much and namaste.